Coming up, the first day of school for the children of Uvalde, Texas, three months after that shooting at Robb Elementary School. Good morning to you. I'm Bree Berry. The entire state and perhaps the nation thinking about Uvalde today. ABC 13 reporter Charlie Edsidy will show us how children here in Houston are showing their very own support. But first, we're going to go to ABC's Rena Roy. She's live there in Uvalde for us. Hi there, Rena. Hi, Bria, that's right. Well, we're here outside of Flores Elementary School here in Uvalde. It is one of three elementary schools in this district that is taking in students from Robb Elementary. And you can only imagine how difficult today is for this community. But the district says that it has implemented security changes to help give families some peace of mind. Three and a half months after the mass shooting that rocked the nation, Uvalde School District students returning to classrooms once again. Many, like Caitlin Gonzalez, concerned about going back after the tragedy, she spoke out at a town hall last week. You want me to go to your schools, right? Yes. I don't know how that, how long that will last. This year's start date pushed back so security changes could be made across the district, including assigning 33 state troopers at schools, creating one single point of entry at each school, and hiring a campus monitor responsible for walking the grounds and checking gates, locks, and doors. Eight-foot fencing has also been installed at elementary schools in the district. Veronica Matas is a teacher with the district and lost her daughter Tess in the shooting. There was a question of whether I was mentally ready, but not to go back. Teaching was always something I've wanted to do, and I know that Tess would have wanted me to go back. As the community tries to move forward, the city of Uvalde filled with encouraging posters, makeshift memorials, and 21 larger-than-life murals honoring the 21 victims. Before we go to work every morning, we drive this way. We'll say good morning. And, and it's we'll just like she's smiling at us. And students here in Central Texas and really across the state are encouraged to wear maroon today in honor and in, in, in support of Uvalde here. There will also be a prayer walk tonight, so you really get the sense that the community is trying to come together, lift each other up as everyone tries to heal. We're live in Uvalde. Rena Roy for ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Rena, thanks for that. We appreciate it. You know, the return of school brought anxiety, of course, and fear for some, and that's why comfort dogs made an appearance. Just take a look at that. Uvalde students were invited to pet those pups before going to class. Really sweet there. And another great gesture here in Houston, a small gesture, sending a message of support to the children of Uvalde. ABC 13 reporter Charlie Edsidy is joining us live to tell us what students in our area were encouraged to do today. And I think it's just really touching these young children making this effort, Charlie. It really is, Bree. So if you're around any school campuses today, you may be seeing a lot of maroon and white, and there's a reason why behind that. Those colors represent the Uvalde CISD school district, and Houston area schools are actually encouraging their students and staff to wear those colors today to show their support. At HISD's Herod Elementary, the school colors are blue and orange, but today many students were wearing maroon and white. It was a tragedy. Um, it's hard to talk about, and um, I'm sending my love, my prayers for the students and the parents and the staff as they go back on your first day. As parents were dropping off their little ones, they couldn't help to think of the parents over in Uvalde. It's a great thing, you know, to show support and solidarity. Oh, I think it's great. I mean, I think I think all parents have this on their mind, and so if, the, if there's something we can do to make it a little nicer, I, I don't see why not. Districts like HISD, Friendswood, Tomball, and Deer Park all encourage students to wear the Uvalde CISD colors. Today marks the first day of school for those students after a difficult summer that was marred by the shooting deaths of 19 classmates and two teachers. It's so important for us to remember and think about those who have just dealt with such a terrible tragedy. Uvalde campuses will have DPS troopers outside and two schools are already surrounded by an eight foot fence. And in a matter of months, Robb Elementary School will be destroyed. No classes will ever be held there again. Despite some of those changes, others say it's simply not enough. I would make sure they stay home and get homeschooled or do something but not until the campuses are secure and safe should anyone, not even the teachers, be allowed to come back. 
And another big change that some students may notice on campus is less classmates inside of those classrooms, and that's because some students have actually opted for virtual learning this school year so that they do not physically have to go back to campus. Uh, so a lot of changes for Uvalde CISD, but obviously a lot of people thinking about them all across the state of Texas with that maroon, with those uh, maroon and white t-shirts and jackets that we just showed you there a second ago, so it's really nice to see that. Charlie at City ABC 13 Eyewitness News. And I see you supporting that effort as well, Charlie. Thanks for that report. We also want to get